guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new, thanks for stopping by. My name is Dana. I really hope you guys decide to hang out and click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I actually asked you guys on Snapchat today. I was telling you that I was wanting to film a drugstore video and what you would be interested in. Right off the bat this morning, I was thinking like, I really want to talk about like my top nudes and rosy moths from the drugstore. Whenever I checked in on Snapchat, a lot of you guys were like, yes, please. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. When I looked online, I think all these products are under $10. That also kind of depends on where you're shopping. If you're going to Walgreens or CVS, it is going to be pricier. I feel like I talk about this all the time, but sometimes people are like, uh, no, I went to the store and it wasn't that much. And it's probably because you weren't at Target or Walmart. So I always recommend getting them either from one of those two places. It tends to be a bit cheaper. Now I kind of have different kinds of nudes in here. Some people think nudes and they want like a straight up, like wipe your lips out nude. That's not my kind of nude. Nudes really kind of depend on your skin tone. For instance, if you're really, really pale, obviously a color that's like white out nude may look like more pigmented on you. Whereas if you're like a rich, bronzy, gorgeous, like woman of color, that's just not gonna be that flattering. So nudes really kind of vary. So I have some lighter nudes as well as those like rosy tone moth nudes, which are my personal favorite. I feel like a lot of those tend to be more universally flattering. So here in front of me, I have a good assortment of nudes from those kind of more beige brown tones nudes to my personal favorite, the Dusty Rosy Moths. So we'll go ahead and start off with the more brown tone ones. I have three here from NYX. I realize I don't have too many of the traditional NYX round lipsticks, but I do have a NYX butter lipstick here. Now one thing I will say is these aren't quite as long lasting as some of their traditional black tubes. I think it's just called like round lipstick. The ones that have like the little color swatch on the bottom. If you're familiar with NYX, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But this is the NYX butter lipstick in the shade Tan Lines. I love the butter lipsticks because because they're incredibly moisturizing. Scent wise, it just kind of smells like a basic lipstick. There's not really any fruit or floral scent. I like these though because it has a nice glossy finish to it. They are opaque. They're just not the longest wearing lipstick, but it's affordable and I really like the color. I don't have a problem reapplying it. It doesn't like come off right when you take a drink of water. I mean, it does transfer, but it's not something where you're like having to reapply like every 30 minutes to an hour. Actually, I lied. I have three more NYX products. The other lipstick is the NYX High Voltage Lipstick in the shade, I think it's Flutter Kisses. I hate when the name's just not on the bottom. Like, I feel like that's how all lipstick should be universally that way we know exactly where to look this one is in flutter kisses this definitely has more of like a pinky tone to it but I would still definitely categorize it as a nude clearly that's why it's in this video I love these high voltage lipsticks the brighter tones I'm not as crazy about because I notice maybe it's just because it's such like a high like intensely pigmented color like the hot pinks and purples those I notice a ton of feathering I do have to go in with a lip liner with these that's another thing NYX makes some amazing lip liners I love the wooden pencils I think they're like $3.99 at Ulta and a lot of the time they'll have a buy one get one 50% off sale. Peekaboo Neutral, Natural, Ever, and I think Mauve. Those are some of my favorite shades. So whenever I wear this one, I think I normally go in with the shade Natural. I think this is actually a color that will look great on a lot of people if you're still kind of newer to nudes. I'd say about like two years ago, I did not wear any of these type of colors just because I was so used to wearing like bright, intense fuchsias that even when I wore a color like this, I was like, no, I look dead. My lips look like I'm like the Grim Keeper, but now I'm obsessed with them. I probably own too many of them, but I love them. Okay, and then the final two NYX products are both butter glosses. These are some of my favorite glosses from the drugstore. If you're intimidated by like liquid lipsticks, you just find them like way too pigmented or just like in your face, but you still want some color without just being like, holy cow, this is intense. These are great. They have a really nice kind of like vanilla cake smell. If you're into those, I'm saying nice because I know lots of people like the scents of MAC lipsticks. I just don't like like bakery scents, which is weird because I love eating bakery things. But like when it comes to the scent, I don't like them. Candles, lipsticks, anything like that. The smell just like turns me off. But the two glosses I have here are Madeline, which is a lighter nude. This is kind of, I guess, a really like mid-tone beige shade. And then Praline is more of a, not brown like a mauve brown nude. One of my mother-in-law's favorite, I don't know if it's a lipstick or it's a gloss, it might be both, is Raisin from Bobbi Brown and she's a fan of this one. It has that same kind of tone. Raisin may be slightly deeper, but if you're a fan of either of those lipsticks and you're looking for a more affordable option, like color-wise, this would be great. You're gonna notice I don't have any of the L'Oreal Color Riche lipsticks in here. I realize the line is amazing. They have so many different tones. The shade range is beautiful, but I cannot get over the scent. Like, I feel like once it's on my lips, that's all I can smell and I can't handle it. I would rather smell like Cody Airspun Powder for the rest of my life than smell like one of those lipsticks. The weirdest, like, sickingly sweet 
floral type of smell. I don't know, I can't deal with it. I always tell myself like, oh, it's gonna fade. And I swear I can smell it like the entire time that I wear it. So I don't have any of those in here. I do have a L'Oreal product, but it's not one of those color reach lipsticks. The next brand I'm going to be talking about is Maybelline. I think the color sensational lipsticks are hands down some of my favorite lipsticks from the drugstore. They're incredibly affordable. The colors are beautiful. I really like that they kind of separate it from like bolds, buffs, mattes. There's like vivids, purples, plums, everything. The line's amazing. I love the formula of them. I love that they don't have like a weird, disgusting scent. But both of these are from the Into Mattes line. I know earlier I said I was going to stick to kind of like brown tones and then go into the mauves, but I feel like it's easier to break it down by brand. So the first one I have is Brown Blush. This is hands down my favorite from the line. It is stunning. If you liked, what was that one called? I think Touch of Spice, you would like this. This, I feel like, is a little bit more of a browner no maybe not brown I can't even remember exactly what that would look like now that's awful I feel like that was more of like a deep reddish type of nude I know you're gonna look at that and be like Dana that's not nude but remember I'm thinking more like nudes and mauves this is just a gorgeous like deep almost like dusty plum color so why it's in nudes I don't know, but I'm still gonna count it. It's stunning. More than anything, you need to check out this the line. The next lipstick I have is Raw Chocolate. If you are deeper toned, this one would be stunning on you. It's just a rich, kind of brown toned nude. I can't get over the formula of these Maybelline lipsticks. I feel like they are made just as well as high-end lipsticks. They're super saturated in pigmentation. They don't feather. Like, the formula is just right. I will say, I think it was the Neons. Those definitely had like a slicker type of feel to it. This is a matte formula, but I don't find it drying on my lips whatsoever. But also keep in mind, I'm a huge fan of the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips. I know tons of people find those incredibly drying, but I think the Milani Matte Lipsticks are actually more drying than these, but I still really like those. Speaking of Milani, I have two. I love these lipsticks. The packaging is hands down some of the prettiest at the drugstore. So first up, I have Bahama Beige. It's number 55. These smell like like Fruity Pebbles or Fruit Loops. I love it. And this is just like their classic formula. The other one that I have that I'm about to show you is matte. This one is kind of similar to Tan Lines, slightly lighter, but I think this is a bit more long wearing than the Butter Lipstick. The Butter Lipstick, sometimes you want to line and fill your lips with a lip liner and then go over it just to keep it longer lasting, but the Milani ones stay on my lips pretty well. Obviously nothing like a true like liquid lipstick or like a matte lipstick, but we're just talking about classic lipsticks. Okay, the other one is Matte Naked. I love this. This has kind of like that dusty rose type of nude. Oh, it's so pretty. Something about matte lipsticks, I feel like the pigmentation is so much better. It's just like super opaque just with one swipe. I have two, no, one Rimmel lipstick. This is from the Lasting Finish by Kate. It's number 14. Does it have an actual name? No, it's just number 14. I think out of all the lipsticks I have here, this is probably like the truest neutral nude. In the very first lipstick I showed you, the NYX Butter Lipstick. This has a really nice, like kind of high sheen finish like butter so it's almost like a lipstick and gloss in one. Oh, the lipstick that i have on right now is a new refine but i'm already in love with it this is the revlon is it super lustrous yeah super lustrous lipstick creme or cream formula those are really the only ones i like i don't like the pearl finish or the what is it there's like pearl and something else those i just don't like the look of i'm, I'm personally not a fan of like the metallic trend or like really pearly type of lipsticks the creams for me are the way to go so one that i have on right now is called brazilian tan i love this i don't know why more people don't talk about this it's kind of like a sandy nude they're not the most pigmented lipsticks like it's something that you kind of have to glide back and forth but that's why i like it it definitely builds up the color as you go but it feels so glossy and comfortable on the lips of all the products that i have here this is probably the most comfortable whenever i'm wearing this i almost forget that i even have anything on my lips and honestly lately i've become more of a glossy lip girl which is crazy because i love liquid lipsticks i love matte lipsticks but Lately, I've just been more into like a glossy finish and this gives that, just being from the super lustrous line, so comfortable to wear. I think this is probably the most affordable in here. I think I got this at HEB for like $4.97. Okay, here's the one product I have from L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. I love these. Now, they're not transfer proof, but I don't think gloss is the right name. I feel like it should just be a liquid lipstick because these are so pigmented. I love the applicator has a nice pointed doe foot. That way you can really kind of like get into the points of your lips. This one is in the shade Statement Nude. These are so comfortable, so pigmented. Like I said, it never dries down fully, but 
It still has like more of like a flat satin finish rather than a true matte. The color range in this is beautiful. If you're looking for a good red, Shanghai Scarlet is beautiful. Okay, this is my very final one. This one I was kind of hesitant to put on because I know not all Ulta's carry prestige anymore, but if yours does still have it, this color is amazing. These total intensity crayons are beautiful, super high vivid pigmentation, super comfortable to wear. Love them. I think out of all these little chubby crayons out in the market, I like these over the Tarte ones. Revlon, who else makes these? I feel like Revlon's like the main brand at the drugstore, but I know somebody else made these chubby crayons at one point. Clinique does them now. They're not quite as popular as they were, but the Prestige Total Intensity one, they are incredible. Just like everything else, they are retractable. This one is in the shade Bare It All. I don't think these have a smell. No, it's completely unscented. This is so pigmented and pretty. I don't need to wear a lip liner with this. I don't need to wear a gloss with it. It looks gorgeous on its own. I don't have any issues with it feathering and it's just a gorgeous kind of rosy nude. These are so comfortable. I have a couple reds from the same collection and they're the most amazing, like highly pigmented. How many more times can I say highly and pigmented in this video? Highly pigmented, there you go. Um, blue base, like true gorgeous reds. Definitely another underrated product. These are amazing. So there are my top picks of like nudes slash mobs from the drugstore. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys would like to see more of these like top of whatever from the drugstore, like palettes, foundations. I think I've done a foundation one before. I'm not sure, but there's more out now. So I feel like we can kind of update it. If you guys found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up, share it with your families and friends, if any of them's into nudes and malls. But yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.